Hello everyone, welcome to a Let's Play Challenge from GTF234, played by Not Dave. In this challenge, you play Mega Mari, the Toho fan game, play, which plays like a Mega Man game. As you can see, here's a Dr. Wily reference, quite obviously, with a cute little patchouli. I think that was her name. I've never been a real big on the Toho mythos. I, the only characters I can recognize are like Rimu and Marissa and Alice. I can recognize the main characters. But, you know, that's not really important, because if you want to learn about Toho, go watch DTF's playthrough of this, because he does a good job. Essentially, you're supposed to do, you're supposed to go to the password screen, insert, fill every block, takes you to the final stages, the Wily stages, I would say, with only an item number two, which is Marissa's broom. This here's Marissa. You actually get two characters in this game, Marissa and Alice. I don't even know why I'm talking about the game. I'm not, if you can tell, I'm not playing and recording at the same time, because that would take way too much effort, and I'm a big, I'm, I'm already playing very, a very ham-fisted Mega Man game, if you can't tell, if you haven't seen already, so I decided just to record it and then narrate later. You have to really, anyways, I was saying, I don't know where I was anyways. You have to take it really slow if you don't have any of the special weapons. If you watch GTF 2, 3, 4, I don't know why I keep adding the numbers, I'll put a link to his thing. If you watch his playthrough, he blazes through here with all the special weapons, but if you don't have them, you really can't do much. And the real advantage from this game, besides Mega Man games, is your tiny little hitbox. It's like a Toho game. Unlike your big Mega Man hitbox where you don't really say, what's the point of dodging? I'll get 12. You can really dodge things. I don't. <laughs> I see the boss when I switch to Alice. I don't know why I did that. Maybe because it's a little easier for me to fight his Alice here. Or maybe because I was getting a lot of reverse. I wasn't paying attention. That's pretty terrible. Up here is a, uh, that's an E-Tank. It looks like a mushroom, as you can tell, there's lots of mushrooms. It's supposed to be medicine. But that's E-Tank. And there's a bridge made of- THIS SUCKS! That is the worst thing in the entire stage. Well, one of the worst things. And here you get these, the three band, the band members, I can't remember their names. But they had behind the, the weapons, the, are, the weapons, their instruments are shields. But Alice's beam can cut through them all. The first one is really easy. Normally I get past it without even taking any damage, but I don't know why I screwed that. Probably because of recording. You don't I didn't have to jump. Tiny hitbox, get there. Get to the next one. With the little the, the peanut headed met hat guys, it's a lot easier with Marissa, because it takes a couple shots with Alice. This is actually my best run of this, believe it or not. I played this a bunch of times trying to get it down and this is the best I could do. I'll, I'll probably try again. Really, nothing much to say there. This is the magic. This is the, the uh, magic room. It's essentially just item number two, as you'll see. That's all it does. It's kind of important. You need it in the game, obviously, for that point. It's like item number one, item number two, and I guess item number three. I don't remember. I haven't gotten past much. I haven't even yet to hit the checkpoint. Here I got really lucky, believe it or not. It, the game doesn't really give you a lot of health and never give you one-ups. Actually, the first time I played this, it gave me a one-up. Because I guess a little bit of luck from Rock Band and 4K was carrying over, but... After that, I've never seen one. Unfortunately, the first time I played it, I was dead tired and I couldn't get past that first wave. I never even knew this was here. The Indian things are indestructible and will hurt you if you get hit in the face with them, but you can stand on them. You don't even have to uh, log run them. I don't know what I put on the magic room. This section is really easy. I'm just taking it slow as usual, like I said, so hopefully I'll get mushrooms. I got, see, more luck. I actually get full health before I get to the boss. And this boss is terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. GTF actually says this is the hardest boss in the game, and I do not doubt him one bit. But then he says everything else is easy. I guess it's easy after you get... After you stop thinking about Mega Man games and start thinking about a Toho game. Once you've done it enough times, you start figuring out what things are. I don't... Do I stick with Alice? Nah, I still don't. I switch back to Marissa. Marissa is really a lot better. Her attack is a lot more powerful, but it isn't constant and can't go through shields. And you see, I'll pause here for a moment. I gotta psych myself up for this, because if you know what's coming, I need the mental fortitude. 
Yeah, laser beams of death. And they, if you cannot be like a second off at all, I love the E Chang trap. Like you could ever get that. And I'm gone. It only took me like three or four tries to actually get that set the first time. Which, you know, I guess is fine. See, so taking it slow and easy. Which will become a big problem in just a few minutes. I really don't understand the logic behind these enemies. Mostly because for this guy. See, yeah, I think I can run and run and shoot him, but I, it just doesn't work. So I stand here with him for a couple of minutes, going back and forth, hoping I kill him and I figure out I just get away from him. And then I can't get away from him, just shoot Marissa! More met hats. There's this female, don't know her name. Surprised I don't know anyone's Toho named Toho. But she isn't really that annoying, just jump over her. Walk down this hallway. I actually take my mind on the right here. There is a little bit of health, or not health, but weapons energy for the broom, which I don't really know why I grabbed because I, I guess I had the premonition that I would get past the boss. Yeah. And I'm trying to figure out who I'm going to start with the boss because it's not right around the corner. There's a little health if you need it. I obviously don't. And now here I have to think again who I'm going to use the boss. And here she is. I don't know her name, sadly. I know she's from Spotty of Scar the Devil, or I think, and I die right off the bat because I forget about jumping. I did really good on the stage, though! Really good on the stage besides that. Try number two! This is the hardest boss in the game, and I would not doubt that one bit because she only has that much checking of vulnerability. She's already invulnerable now. And she has these two little helpers. I think one is called Ron and Fawn, I want to say. I'm probably wrong. And just spin around like assholes shooting beams at you. And then try and collide with you. And you see, I don't get any hits on her that time. Perhaps she drops the. Yeah. Uh. Last life, you can only do this in one continue, which is, which is normal because after you die, you. Go back to the start of this stage. I don't know if that carries over to the next stages, but. That's just how it is. And I think we don't get killed that time. It's not gonna help me any. The bosses are... The, the two helpers are so... Annoying. There's no real good spot to hide from them. You just gotta be able to dodge and... Keep yourself well positioned to... Shoot when you have the chance. Which is really hard. Without a, don a directional weapon. I tried hanging out on the edge, and I think I did my best there when I was practicing, but... I decided to try the, uh, hang out on the edge. Not the edge, but the far end. Which didn't really help, and... Here, I'll, I stopped paying attention to my health. I should have switched to Alice, and I didn't, and I died. And that's what happened. So... Yeah. Bye, folks. I'll try again tomorrow.